being a woman of influence means that you see people that are struggling and you can identify pretty quickly what they're struggling with, analyze what they need and help bridge that gap for them. Really just being successful at what you do and teaching that to others and then being super excited about watching them flourish and grow. That's what it means to me. So, you know, I think it's really important that the traits and behaviors that we exhibit as a connected woman of influence is really just being aware. I think self-awareness is the first step, right? But you can't just stop there. You could be aware that you have a need or you could be aware that somebody else has a need, but action is really where it's at. And being able to see that need, being aware, and then taking action that's the behavior. And I like to call it messy action because there's a lot of us out there that have that really big desire to be perfect and we get stuck on perfect. And so we won't take action unless it's perfect. But I'm a big advocate of teaching women how to take messy action just so that they gain some traction. And then we can kind of do a postmortem and figure out what didn't work. What did we learn? And let's move forward.